With the battery assembly and solar assembly mounted and secured, the next step is to wire the unit. Begin by connecting the two harnesses from the inter-product harness into the ports at the bottom of the solar assembly. The other ends of the two harnesses are already terminated inside the battery assembly wiring compartment. When installing a system with a single power wall plus, it is not necessary to open the wiring compartment on the battery enclosure. Power wall plus is normally interconnected with a 50 amp two pole breaker. This typically requires the use of number 8 conductors. Strip half an inch of insulation from each AC conductor. Insert a cabinet tip flathead screwdriver into the rectangular hole. This will open the adjacent circular terminal to receive the AC conductors. Terminate the L1, L2, neutral, and ground conductors in the respective ports inside of the solar assembly. Perform a slight tug test to ensure that each conductor is properly terminated. Terminate each conductor in their respective terminals at the point of interconnection. L1 and L2 on the two poles of a 50 amp breaker and the neutral and ground in their respective terminals. Powerwall Plus has four sets of DC terminals labeled positive one through four and negative one through four. Each of these terminals can accept up to 13 amps of DC current. The DC terminals on the left are for high amperage DC circuits up to 26 amps, which will be covered shortly. Strip half an inch of insulation from each DC conductor. Similar to the AC conductors, insert a cabinet tipped flathead screwdriver into the rectangular hole and terminate the equipment grounding conductors in the ground terminals. Terminate the positive and negative DC conductors in their respective terminals. If the current for a DC circuit exceeds the 13 amp rating of the terminals, DC conductors are then terminated on the left side, and jumpers are used to join the corresponding sets of terminals for a total allowable current of 26 amps for that circuit. On the left column, positive and negative 2 correspond to ports 1 and 2 on the right side. Positive and negative 4 correspond to ports 3 and 4 on the right side. Terminate the high amperage DC conductors on the left column of the terminals. Use a jumper to combine the corresponding terminals on the right column. See the Powerwall Plus Quick Guide or the sticker inside of the solar assembly for diagrams on different DC wiring configurations. With the AC and DC terminations completed, next up is communication wiring between Powerwall Plus and the gateway or backup switch. The communication port is located on the left side of the solar assembly. Terminate the four conductors of a shielded twisted communication cable in the solar assembly, taking note of the labels of each conductor. Twist the drain wire around the bare copper of an equipment grounding conductor and terminate in the ground terminals of the solar assembly. Terminate the other end of the communication cable in backup gateway or backup switch, matching the wiring pattern used inside of the solar assembly. When installing Powerwall Plus with backup switch, a system shutdown switch must be wired into the auxiliary connector inside of the controller Powerwall Plus. Powerwall Plus can be installed with up to three additional Powerwall 2 units. Each Powerwall 2 unit will need its own AC circuit connected to a two-pole 30-amp breaker. Communication cable must be daisy-chained from the Powerwall Plus battery assembly to each additional Powerwall. Open the battery assembly wiring compartment. Locate the harness with the black shrink wrap. This will be the point of connection for the communication wiring to any additional Powerwalls. Never unplug the connector that is in the out port of Powerwall Plus. Unplug the loose end with the shrink wrap. If Powerwall 2 is stacked in front of Powerwall Plus, simply plug the connector into the in port of Powerwall 2. If mounting Powerwall Plus and Powerwall 2 side by side, the harness will need to be extended. Remove the black shrink wrap and discard the resistor. Connect a new, four-conductor communication cable to the harness that previously had the end-of-line resistor. 
connect the other end of this communication cable to the in port of Powerwall 2. Continue this pattern of out to in for each additional Powerwall 2. Install the end of line resistor in the out port of the last Powerwall 2. Powerwall Plus can be installed with one additional expansion Powerwall Plus. An additional Powerwall Plus requires its own AC circuit with a new 2 pole 50 amp breaker. Since the battery assembly of an expansion Powerwall Plus already has 12 volt and ground from the interproduct harness, only the CAN high and CAN low are required to be connected between the two units. Open the wiring compartment of both Powerwall Pluses. Locate the harness with the black shrink wrapped connector in each Powerwall Plus. Detach the connectors and remove the shrink wrap and resistors. Land two conductors on the connectors in the terminals labeled CAN high and CAN low and plug them back into the harness coming from the out ports. When installing two Powerwall Plus units, there will be no end of line resistors. Refer to the installation manual and installation quick guide for full wiring diagrams of all available equipment configurations.